Good morning. As you may know, I am doing a lot of soul searching these days. I want to achieve my goals and I'm trying to look to better ways to do it. Like I've been saying, one of the best ways is to look at Westboro Baptist Church. And in the process, I'm using various theories, various ideologies. I keep digging deeper and deeper. I really want to achieve my goals. Like I made a video previously about rationally emotive behavior therapy and Westboro Baptist Church. That is a deep level, but I want to go even deeper yet. I'm not achieving my goals, so I keep going and going and going until I can be most effective. Rationally emotive behavior therapy is, like I said in the other video, popularized by Albert Ellis. Albert Ellis had some philosophical foundations for it. Namely, he was interested in general semantics. General semantics is a worldview, it's a psychological, philosophical, linguistic way of looking at the world and presenting yourself. So I've started to look at general sem semantics, and I believe it can reveal a lot, and I'm hoping that by looking at this, I can see ways to improve myself. At this point, I am seeing ways that I can improve myself, and also seeing ways I can do things right. I'm seeing ways that I'm doing things right in the world, whereas the world and other people are not doing it right, and I need to find a way to convince other people to get my message across. So hopefully general semantics can help me provide the answer. I have downloaded some material from the Institute for General Semantics. Today I would like to look at their language revision or worksheet and all these different concepts and how you can change your speech and we'll apply this to Westboro Baptist Church. One problem we have, it says, is certainty. General semantics recommendation. Reflect uncertainty. Speak probabilistically. Reason? You can't know. Your nervous system is separated from events. Now this is something I've believed for a long time. A lot of people have this delusion, an illusion, that things are certain. Things have always happened some way, so they're going to happen this way. In one sense, it really makes you feel insecure if you know this fundamental truth, because anything can change at any moment. America is good right now, but it may not be good in the future. You may have a lot of money now, you may not in the future. No matter if you do everything right, it still may change. So a lot of people have very certain concepts about Westboro Baptist Church, and Westboro Baptist Church is very certain about things themselves. So therefore, a more accurate way of portraying their points of views and your points of views would be less certain. You can't know what they're going to do, you can't know who, what their ideas are going to be or where it's going to lead, or even some of their foundations. Likewise, they say things that they can't always know about either. Definitely absolutism, the next category, applies. The general semantics recommendation is temper the absolutes. Reason your nervous system is limited. Of course, Westboro Baptist Church's stuff is full of absolutes. Everything there. But consequently, the opponents are full of absolute. Now, I see all these shades of gray. And a few others see the shades of gray in Westboro Baptist Church. If something is absolutistic and you become absolutistic in response to it, what does that say about you? Wouldn't the better response be to see it in shades of gray? I certainly think so. If you say Fred Phelps is evil or Westboro Baptist Church is evil, that's seeing it very absolutistic. That's the way they see things. They see gays as being 100% bad. They see the rest of society as being beasts. They're seeing everything wrong and it's 100% wrong. They're not seeing shades of gray enough. What I have found in some videos where people actually go out of their way to understand Westboro Baptist Church, looking at it through the frame of shades of gray and understanding Westboro Baptist Church actually responds to that. They don't respond exactly the same way to everyone. If somebody is there understanding, they respond in a certain way versus someone there acting in a different way. For example, in one video, Megan Phelps Roper was saying that she reacts differently to people who have sincere hearts. So I definitely think it's important 
to temper the absolutes like this says here, not only they would be better, but you would be better. The next problem is allness. The general semantics recommendation says temper the allness, speak more descriptively, use etc. Reason, your nervous system is limited, you often exaggerate. A lot of people exaggerate the evils of Westboro Baptist Church. A lot of people say that they're this great problem that we must devote all our energies to opposing it. Now, consequently, Westboro Baptist Church is definitely doing the same things themselves. If someone fornicates, they're going to hell. Do we need to have videos about Lady Gaga stop praying because she's fornicating? 